Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a quick little look at uh, the new Pilot Explorer. This is a, I bought this from Goulet Pens. Uh, this is a really interesting little pen. I'm going to compare it a little bit to the Pilot Metropolitan in this video. Uh, just so you see what it's all about. So it comes in the cardboard box. Um, I have opened this already and I've inked it up using a converter, not the cartridge that comes with it. The converter does it not come with the pen. You have to buy that separately, uh, which I did. Uh, so, but I have inked it up. So, but I've, yeah, this is the first day of having this pen. So this is a quick sort of comparison, uh, if you will. It comes in the plastic case, similar to the, what the Metropolitan comes in. It sits in the foam, as I said, with a uh, cartridge there. It does not come with the converter. Um, on first, like, uh, on absolute sort of basic first points, you can see it's slightly bigger uh, than the Metropolitan. Now, it's not uh, heaps bigger, it's sort of just a couple of sort of extra millimetres in length. I got the grey version uh, here, it does come in a lovely little variety of colours. Um, it is an all plastic construction as opposed to the metal construction of the Metropolitan, so it does feel a little lighter, a little less substantial. Um, and if we look at the weight of these pens, let's just do a quick weigh in. Uh, the Explorer coming in at 14 grams, and the Metropolitan coming in at 27. So it is substantially lighter, and you really do feel uh, that difference in the hand. Um, just a quick rundown of the parts of the pen. So you can see Pilot is uh, in relief there on the cap. Um, it's it's a lightweight sort of plastic. As I said I've got the grey version, black finial and end cap um, made of plastic. It's got a plastic section which is slightly uh, translucent there. Slightly different shape to the Metropolitan, uh, but same length uh, from uh, end from the end of the section to where the uh, pen caps. Um, they are said to be the same nibs. Now, as I, this, I put a converter in here, um, but it, you know, I think, it's, yeah. Uh, but there's a does take sort of the proprietary Pilot uh, cartridges, same as the Metropolitan. And actually, if we look at the two sections here, you'll notice that's the, where the differences are. Uh, similar, uh, it's clearly sort of taken by the same design, but slightly different shape. Now, if we look at the nibs, now these are supposed to have the same nibs. Now, whether the same nibs just, as, just sort of decorated differently, I'm not sure, but as you might be able to see, uh, the Explorer nib here says Pilot Super Quality Japan M for medium, and then the Metropolitan nib here says Pilot M for medium Japan, and then has a little bit of sort of uh, engraving around the tines there. So let's do a quick writing sample, see if they are uh, how similar they are. Things so are both mediums. I both ink them both with Waterman Serenity Blue, and let's start here with the Pilot Explorer. Now I can already feel there's a lot of feedback uh, on this nib. Uh, it's not the smoothest nib that I've written with, and certainly not the smoothest Pilot nib um, that I have written with either. Um, it's not overly wet, but sort of it's it's wet enough. These Pilot pens aren't super wet, and they do write on the finer side. Um, I am, I'd be surprised if there's any sort of line variation on this nib. It's quite stiff. No, I wouldn't push it beyond there. Uh, but it's it writes, and it's it, it just has a slight drag almost scratchy sort of on the page this particular pen. Now if we look at the Pilot Metropolitan um, oh, hold it down. this is a medium this is a much smoother pen the nib is infinitely smoother um, and it's ever so slightly feels sort of slightly wetter I'm not really sure if it is or if it's just that it's smoother um, once again, you wouldn't push this for line variation. It does sort of railroad even. Um, they're not designed uh, for that. Uh, let's just quickly do a reverse writing here with the... It's very scratchy on the Metropolitan with reverse writing, but it does give you a very fine line. You can easily get a few words out with the Explorer. It's once again very, very fine, a little drier, um, but maybe even a touch smoother. Now, if we talk about price, now the Metropolitan used to come in at around 15 to 18 American, and it's going to, and it's sort of being bumped up 
incrementally and I think it's going up to now about 30 uh, and the Explorer here will come in at under 25 so it is a viable cheaper option for pilot and obviously these materials sort of I'm assuming being injection molded and all of that are cheaper to produce and that makes absolute sense so it is a cheaper model than the Metropolitan the Metropolitan still is going to be great value at 30 American uh, for the pen uh, but this is a sort of another entry-level pen from Pilot. It's an interesting model. Um, I don't think it has the same build feel quality as the Metropolitan, obviously, uh, but you are paying less for it, uh, and there are always going to be some sort of drawbacks to that sort of lower price. But this was a Pilot Explorer, the first day I've sort of had it. Just for comparison's sake, here it is alongside Alami Safari as well. Uh, so you can see it's about the same size as the Safari. Maybe, once again, a couple of millimetres longer, uh, but it's, you know, a decent sort of feeling pen in the hand if if a little bit light uh, and you know it's a good good size in the hand you wouldn't need to post it but at this weight I'm not thinking that posting it will not make much of a difference uh, at all it just makes it just that little bit in my opinion just a little bit too sort of long there but yeah Pilot Explorer uh, if you're interested in this pen go check it out on infinite number of uh, online retailers and see what it's about um, it's a pen that I yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep and probably use as a bit of a throw around pen, uh, but it's not going to replace for me the Metropolitan in my collection. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. Find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.